Hey beautiful babes, welcome into Sugar Fingers. Your girl Sweet Angel here. Exciting day, it's Friday. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing good, real good, okay? Y'all, I know I look a little different because girl, I didn't fill in my brows and honey, I have forgotten how really like ball faced I look, okay? But we're trying a new product today. I was actually on uh, another YouTuber's channel, uh, Time the Infamous, and I was drawn into trying this interesting, I don't know what you even call it. How do I pick up stuff and I don't even know what you call it. It's called Minna Eyebrow Henna. So, that's what we doing right now. And y'all, my hair, it's not cut, it's just gotten grown out so much on the top that it does not it does not like fluff up until it's super super dry but anyway my packaging is already like open I just I just opened the plastic but it's open here it's got everything attached to it and that's not cute so let me just tear into it and see what I have came with the little brush and spoolie here I mean, y'all could have a little bit better, like put it all in a box, maybe. Did I break it? Okay, maybe not. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to try this out. I don't know why I'm watching these YouTube people with this crazy stuff, but if this mess up my eyebrows, I'm gonna be very upset. So it came with the little brush, angle brush, can y'all? Is that better? Yeah, that's better. And I'm trying to see what else is attached. I mean, it's like they just kind of did their own thing and just stuck everything with tape on the box. That's crazy. What if I need to read the directions and they tear off while I'm doing all this? Unloose me. All right, let me get some magnifying glasses here so I can see what's going on. Okay, now this is the Mena Nourishing, Mena Brow Nourishing Oil. Condition, strengthens, and thickens eyebrows. So that's what this little thing is. And the way you use it is, does it say? Does it say? It don't say. But anyway, these ingredients are great. Sweet almond oil, argan oil, rosemary, and geranium. Okay. A little tube like that all right now in here maybe this is the good stuff here let's see what we have Ooh, is it my sale okay so this is the box it came in and again I got the Mena eyebrow henna dark brown is the color I got it come with three sachets and it's a semi-permanent brow that'll stay up to six weeks no ammonia no lead it's great for spot coloring uh, with tattoo effects all right now this will actually come in nine different other colors if you need black or dark brown light brown medium brown ash blonde, blonde, burgundy, copper brown, or golden brown. You also get in here a measuring cup, a bottle to keep your leftover eyebrow henna, and a dropper, and the instruction leaflet, and a spatula, and the other thing. Okay. So these are the little packets here. Open it up. I'm kind of scared of doing this because I don't jack up my doggone eyebrows and I'll be looking hella crazy. So, all right, this is the little tube bottle to keep the leftovers in right there. And has a measuring cup and a little dropper. 
and here are the instructions. So first we're going to prepare one packet that contains enough product for use on eight to 10 sets of eyebrow applications, okay? Take a half spoon of the powder provided in the box into measuring cup provided in the box and pour a few drops of water using the dropper and mix with a spoon for five to 10 minutes until all parts dissolve to make a smooth uniform paste. Store the remaining powder contents of the packet in the bottle provided with the box. Now we're going to clean the eyebrows with cleanser to remove dirt using a cotton pad. Let's apply it. We're going to apply it and apply smooth and uniform eyebrow henna paste using the eyebrow henna tinting brush from root to the tip of the brow. Parting the brow hair into sections. I don't really need to do that because I don't have any brows like that. Leave the eyebrow henna paste on the eyebrow for about 10 to 15 minutes for desired color. For stubborn gray hair, reapply the brow henna mixture after 10 minutes of the first application and leave on brow for 10 to 15 minutes more for desired results. Apply a third time for longer if needed. And the way we're going to take it off, we clean the residue of the eyebrow henna paste from the brow with cleanser. Finally, clean your eyebrow with water and dry with a soft napkin and finish before and after. Finish the procedure. Apply Mena Eyebrow Nourishing Oil to the eyebrows. The oil gently fixes the color and gives shine and softness to the eyebrow with regular use. And also, they do recommend a patch sensitivity test to be performed prior to application. All right, I'm gonna open the packet up. Perhaps I'll need some scissors. Okay, it's a packet and a packet inside the packet. So we'll slice it again. And we're gonna take a little scoop of it in this little spoon here. Gonna close that back up. Okay, I have some water I had sitting out last night, night before. I'm just going to take a dropper and put it in there. Let's see what that looks like. Let's stir that around a little bit. This is what she's looking like right now. And it's said to mix for 10 to 15 minutes. Are you serious? Oh, that's a long time. Just a tad bit more water in it little dropper is great don't overdo it so and I'll be right back after I finish mixing it up lo and behold I do have on makeup and why oh well I just really want to see the full effect of this so I'm just taking a cleansing wipe and gonna cleanse off my brows and then I'm gonna wipe it off with a dry paper towel just to make sure I got everything off of there um, makeup wise Pretty sure I got the brow clean, but I just went over it again. And I'm just gonna take the end of this paper towel and dry it off really good. All right, so that's great. And I think I got it all. So I'm just gonna mix this around just a little bit more. And we'll get the little brush here and see if I can do this. I'm gonna put my big side mirror here. Hopefully you can see me okay. And uh, yeah, this looks kind of weird. It's kind of like slime instead of like, I don't know. Uh -uh. We're gonna see what we're working with here, okay? Let's just start on this end.
Like that's like barely going on. What's up? It's actually going on very, very light. I don't know whether I didn't do enough of it, but I'm scared to put on any more. Take a Q-tip and kind of clean that in. I don't want to have it that wide at the end. I don't know what's up. Maybe I didn't put enough mix in it or something. Okay, it looks like I have brows, but do I have brows? I don't know. It look green right now. Well, I'm coming along. I'm just gonna go ahead and try to get into these little sparse areas that I kind of missed. Not sure if I did this right or not. I might regret this for the rest of my days, but we are going to see. It's kind of drying too, so it's kind of crispy. Ooh, child, dry through that. Take that off. <laughs> almost mess up something or what I'm hoping this end is not too not gonna be showing up like that I don't know I don't know we're not gonna worry about it now am I gonna be able to get up in the morning slap I woke up like this I woke up like this or am I gonna be like oh I look like ee. all right let me just see if they look kind of even oh I don't know it's pretty pretty dark but I don't think I'm gonna reuse any of this that's already in here. I'm gonna clean up my mess and probably remix each time I need to use it. If I ever use this skin, I don't know. Who knows? So let me go and rinse out my little container and I'll be back. Cause I don't think I'm going to reapply it today. Period, no matter what the outcome is, okay? Let me just go ahead and rinse this little tube out and see what it what it do and I'll flip this down because this actually is open so we're gonna put this in this little zippy bag hopefully it stays intact and the other ones are still closed up and maybe I can just insert everything into this box who knows? And again, I don't know if I did this right or not, y'all. So this is just a, I'm just a test tube baby right now. <laughs> That's about it. But I'm just cleaning up everything, wiping off my spoon heel. Yes. And while I'm doing that, my 10 minutes should be up and I should be able to cleanse off my brow and see what I got, what it do, okay, okay, we're going to see, we're going to see for sure if this is a yes or a hell to the no, 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 <laughs> so 
Put everything in here. Put this little container in here. Everything I'm putting in here. Get the water out of the little dropper. And the last thing I'll have is the oil in the cup. So, I think that's all of my mess I have to clean up. Now let me go and rinse that out and I will be back and we'll go ahead and mark it off and see what we got. Okay, of course I've gotten a little bit anxious and I need to go ahead and try to get this off of here. So I have me some cleansing wipes, makeup cleansing wipes, and I have my little um, makeup remover stuff here. Can't remember the name of this, but I'll link it down below. I'm gonna go ahead and try to wipe, wipe it off with a makeup wipe and see what happens there. And then if not, we're going to have to go and just completely cleanse this another way. So we're going to see what happens when I do this. Nothing hardly. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a Q-tip and use my cleansing balm here. And see if I can get that lifted. Okay, got that side. It's nice and crispy, that's for sure. <laughs> I hope they're not too dark. I hope they're not too dark. Oh my God, this is crazy. <laughs> well, it's a brow on there, but you know, it's not as deep as I thought it was going to be. But it's on there. Oh, this one is really stiff. Good God Almighty. Okay. I don't know if I like it or if I'm confused right now. Okay, my brows are deeper. Of course you can see that. Get another wipe here. Uh, let's pull a bit more cleansing balm on there and then I'll put the oil on there. Well, they don't look bad. Thank God I got the right shade as well, but I think I'll be wiping this off every time I, you know, um, cleanse my face. I'm sure some of it will lift off the skin. So that's gonna be probably normal. So let me just take a dry paper towel end here and what okay all right 
Yikes. Well, I can say it, you know, it worked out okay. I probably could have left it on longer and I probably can kind of retouch the rest of it if I choose to around the edges there, but you know, I have a brow and I can just shape it up with my brow pencil. Let's go ahead and do that and just finish off everything and get my concealer here. I have my Fenty brow pencil, get my little flat brush here and just go ahead around the outer parts of it. All right, beautiful babes. Now that's done. All right, I filled it in a little bit. I kind of like it. I mean, you know, in the morning, I'll probably say I woke up like this. But anywho, that's it. Now, if you want it, it's right on Amazon. The Minna Eyebrow Henna. So, again, nine different shades of it. And this is it. I'm going to go try it on Maddie. <laughs> So I just woke up this morning and here's the brows. <laughs> They're still intact, I'm washing my face, everything. So probably the right side will disappear on the end faster because of the fact that that's the side I generally sleep on, but this is it. 